Every time somebody keys up their microphone on duty, we can hear automatic gunfire. As soon as we show up, it's time to go to work. Try to help anybody we could right off the bat. Keep going, everybody, keep going. What in the actual and then that's when we met Frank. He came over to our car and he's carrying uh, his wife, Giovanna, in his arms and he said, help me, I'm a police officer. Get her out of the car, help me pick her up. She appeared lifeless. At that point, we obviously knew that this was very critical. Get her in, get her in. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Close that door. Let's go. We're married 22, I'm here at the UFC with a female with a gunshot wound to the head. I remember within the first 30 seconds to a minute of us driving to the hospital, we heard that an officer had been shot, and Brandon realized that that was somebody he went to the academy with, and I remember him saying, My buddy just got shot. That officer, Brady Cook, who moments earlier had been pinned down with that team of officers under fire. Like Brandon, it was Officer Cook's second day on the job. That all in itself was tough. All I could think was, we have to get Giovanna to the hospital immediately. And, and all I wanted to do was help both. Just driving as fast as we can, and Frank's in the back seat, and he's yelling at Giovanna to hang on. One minute, man, one minute. Keep talking to her, put pressure on the floor. Make sure you're doing chest compressions, man. I remember uh, banging on the window, and I hear Brandon in the front. He's telling me, too, hey, you know, keep doing chest compressions, and we're almost there. Brandon and I carried Giovanna into the hospital. At this point, she just had blood. She was bleeding everywhere. Like, her entire body was covered in blood. And we carried her into the uh, emergency room, and I just remember yelling, hey, I have a gunshot wound to the head. Where do you want her? Set her down, and that was like the first moment that you had to a chance to take a breath. And I looked down, and I'm covered in covered in blood. <laughs> I looked at Brandon. He said, "What are we doing?" I said, "Let's let's go. We got to go back." Shannon. Call the police. Someone's firing a gun up here. Someone's firing a rifle on the 32nd floor down the hallway. Control units responding to 32. Inside the Mandalay Bay, Stephen Shuck, the engineer, pinned down on the 32nd floor with security guard Jesus Campos, have alerted authorities to the shooter's location. Watch for weapons and the people coming out. We're on the top right now. Police spread out, sweeping through the hotel looking for other threats. You got two behind you already. Metro Police, get in here, sound off! Waking stunned guests in the process. Sir, are you hurt? Clearing rooms, floor by floor. Metro, break. Metro Police, put your hands up! There's an active shooter in the hotel, okay? Stay locked in your room, thank you. Yeah, 1,400 people. Ten minutes have passed since the first gunshots. By this point, the shooter has gone quiet. On the 32nd floor, Shuck and Campos escape to safety as police and security work to get the guests out of their rooms. One coming down. Go, 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 run, run. What is that They worry that room service cart is rigged with a bomb. You have police officers on a floor. What are they confronted with? And they find out if it's a two-story suite or just one. They get close enough to that room. There's wires. There's cameras. What are they walking into? Is that an IED? Is there more than one person? How many people are there? We had nothing. Let's go. Let's go. Ready? Let's go. Ready? Let's go. Back to back. Watch. We'll be trapped. 
there's a car right in front of the room. Cover asses. Nobody comes out of those elevators. You, you. You got long? I got shotgun too. Copy. We should be a floor below you. One floor below, a SWAT team makes their way to that stairwell. Shield up, shield. Kill the light, concealing their position, and rig the door to the suite with an explosive strip. Stand by for breach. Then Stand a warning. Breach. Breach. breach, breach. Everyone in the hallway needs to move back. All units move back. Breach, breach, breach. Okay, cover on that. In with you. They find the shooter dead by a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Watch your back. Weapons got scattered about. He put cameras up on the peepholes and all that. That's what these wires are. We're doing another breach. Another breach. Another breach. Another breach. They prep a second breach to clear the adjoining room. Guys, everything's okay. We took, we, he's dead, okay? <laughs> Go straight down to the side end. Yeah. Poor lady. Hey, hey. News spreads across the hotel. They went in, and then the doors were then cleared after that. Anyone, anyone dead up there? Oh, one down. For the thousands of guests that have been sheltering in place, excuse me, I'm sorry. Relief. We have no control over the actions of evil people, but we're here now. Thank you.